Hello and welcome to another exciting video. Now, in the previous one, we saw how we can implement OAuth using GitHub. So, whenever a new user signs up, the entry of that user is maintained in Superbase table. And you can access that by going to Authentication Users. So, here you can see Authentication and under that you will see Users and the list of users will be displayed over here. Now, Superbase also maintains additional attributes associated to this particular table and those can be accessed by going to the SQL Query Editor which you can access from this link and I have opened up in a new page and here all you need to do is create a new query and right select asterisk or all from auth.users and you'll be getting the additional attributes associated for each of the users that we have under users. Now let's say you further want to have an additional table. Let's call it as a profile table of users. And there you want to maintain certain attributes like whether user has subscribed or not and what kind of subscription they have opted for. To do that, we'll be heading over to our table editor and we'll be clicking on create a new table over here. We'll be giving it a name as discussed. We'll be calling it as profile table, stores, user profile information. And here we have enabled row level security. And you can see policies are required to query this data. We'll be coming to this in a bit. But right now, what we'll do is we have these columns created, ID of type integer, then created at. We'll now be adding another column and we'll be calling it as is subscribed. This is going to be Boolean. So here we'll choose Boolean and then we'll add one more column. Let's call it as interval and here we'll have it as text. and. These are the two columns that we need in our table and, and here down below you'll see foreign keys. Let's click on this add foreign key relation and here we'll have the schema selected and then the table that it is going to refer to. So schema will be auth and the table that we want is users. So we'll scroll down a bit. Here we have auth users and it is now asking which column you want to associate. So I want the ID column to be associated from this table and here I'll be selecting the ID column as well. So we have now established a relationship between tables and Superbase using foreign keys. Let's click on save now and click save one more time. There we go. So now we have our profiles table which is connected to the users table and here at the moment you can see it's empty but the relationship between these two tables have been established.